This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome back to another episode of Rettinger's Rants. I'm your host, John Rettinger. This is the show where I rant and rave on anything from the world of technology and sometimes a little bit outside. If you've watched my videos, you know I got very strong opinions and I'm bringing them each week. Up this week, Windows Phone 8 and some things that are really pissing me off. I've been pretty happily, for the most part, using Windows Phone 8 for the better part of three-ish weeks. First with the HTC 8X, now with the Lumia 920. And there are a lot of things that I love about Windows Phone 8, but a lot of things that I'm finding infuriating. Stick around, let me tell you what I got. So let me preface this by saying the mobile experience on Windows Phone 8 has overall been very enjoyable. It's been an A minus S experience, but I wanted to get to an A plus, and there are a few things that I am finding freaking infuriating. So let's start with number one, and maybe you guys disagree with me, but this is the way I feel. I like to turn my phone off at night when I go to bed. I get a calendar alerts, text coming in, email dings. I just like to turn my phone off. I know I can set profile switches, put it to vibrate, put it in airplane mode, all that kind of business, but it's very cathartic for me. At the end of the day, switch my phone off, it helps me shut down my brain and get ready for sleep. For those of you guys that don't know, I've got crazy bad insomnia. Something that I found actually helps me sort of segment when I go to sleep and not always be thinking about emails and that kind of stuff. So I love flicking my phone off. Windows Phone 8, of course you can turn it off. One thing you can't do is turn it off and charge it. Let me say, repeat that again. On every other phone on the planet, except for WebOS, you could plug your phone in. Once it's plugged in and charging, you turn it off, it'll keep charging. Turn it on in the morning, it'll have 100% battery life and all is well with the world. Microsoft says this is a feature. A feature that is freaking annoying. So when I go to bed now, I gotta put my phone in airplane mode, I gotta put the volume all the way down in case calendar alerts start dinging. I just wanna turn it off and I wanna charge it. It's been like this since Windows Phone 7. Windows Phone 8, I figured, yes, finally, I'll be able to turn my phone off when I go to bed. Not true here. I know if there's gonna be one smart ass out there that's gonna be like, hey John, what if your phone runs out of battery and you plug it in, what's gonna happen then? That's pretty simple. It stays off till there's enough battery left to turn the phone on and then it stays on like every other phone out there. And it is pissing me off. So one of the things I love about Windows Phone 8 are those gorgeous live tiles. They're showing information, news, what people are doing on social media. Everything is sort of coming up right on the home screen and it makes for a really enjoyable experience. But if you don't have a live tile for an application that has an alert, say you don't have a live tile for Facebook, Twitter, your email or text messaging for some reason, you're never gonna know you have something new in there. If you don't have a live tile for an application, you're never gonna know that you've got an alert waiting for you. You can put a few alerts on your home screen, but it's very limited. Typical ones are there, email, text message, calendar, Facebook, and a few others. But if you have another application, if you use something like WhatsApp, for example, and you don't have a pin to your home screen, you're never gonna know if you have an alert waiting for you. Windows Phone needs is a dedicated message center. Something like Android has, iOS has, like every other operating system has, Windows Phone 8 just doesn't have it yet. It displays notifications wonderfully if you've got a live tile. It pops up, it shows you what you've got, who called, who your text message is from, all kinds of other awesomeness, but there's no central hub where you can go to see all of your notifications. If, let's say, you have five missed emails, and at some point you open up emails and you see another inbox and they're linked and you don't check it, uh, that's gonna reset back to zero and not gonna know you had those emails until you go into that inbox. It's just been very, very annoying. Now, these are all minor quips and quirps, quibidips. I get that. And this is overall a very refined, easy to use, intuitive, very comprehensive operating system. But these are two things that seem like an absolute no brainer to me. If I was designing my own operating system, there'd probably be two places I would start with. Why, Microsoft? Why do you give and taketh away? You're giving us such an awesome OS, such incredible hardware your partners are making, but why is the software just limited in a few ways? So let me take a minute from a rant in about Windows Phone to thank our friends and sponsors at Netflix. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix member, you can watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with your Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii console. Watch as many movies as you want, as many times as you want, and cancel any time. To get a free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash buffalo, sign up, let them know that we sent you and that we love you, and all that other goodness. So be sure to sign up at netflix.com slash buffalo for a free 30-day trial. Fix those for me. Windows Phone 8 would be an absolute A+, slam dunk, my go-to OS of choice. But for right now, I gotta deal with bings and boops when I go to bed and I feel like I wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom or something and I gotta check my phone to see what's there because the phone is on. And I know it, I'm weird. 
I'm the first one to admit it. My wife will tell you too. But something that I would just love to see change from Windows Phone 8. Do you guys agree, disagree, am I wrong, am I right? Let me know what you think. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Check us out for all the latest and greatest tech news. We're back here every week with a new episode of Rettinger's Rant. See you in the next video.